All right, so this is not no big haul. It's just a couple things that I recently got, and I thought I'll share it with you. Um, Starting with these two, so these are some custom three custom eyes lip um, pigments, and um, someone one of my friends who is Asian she introduced me to this line, and um, they have lip glosses and lipsticks, and they also I think have blushes. But she said they're really, really pigmented. So this is one, the first one. And these come with like a lip brush. You know, very convenient. And I was wondering, hoping that they were very similar to like the lip tars. And even there is one from Sleek Makeup. Um, This was like $4.99, I think, inclusive of shipping. And so, yeah, I have swatches already of them on my Facebook page. You guys can check it. I will do a full on review of them. This is the purple one. Um, this is number seven, the other one is number three. So yeah. I was hoping that this would have been a little more pink than peach, but I'm actually happy because I don't have anything in my collection that's like this. So yeah, really happy to try try that. And then what else? I also got this Milani powder blush in Bella Rosa. This is the limited edition ones. This is 04. This was supposed to need the darkest, I think. Um, I've not seen all of them in person. So this one, I was like, you know, 04 should have been the darkest. I don't know. But I think I want to try the first one because I think the first one might be a good highlight. It's All of them I heard are shim except the first one. Oh, yeah, there are four of them. So three are matte and one has a side shimmer that might be really nice as a highlighter, like a subtle highlighter for work. So I will try this out. It's in my weekly basket this week. Um, sticking with blush still, I picked up this La Femme blush. Um, it's one of the, not from the regular pan stuff. This one is, what they call La Femme Hollywood. It's a glow on rouge. So these have like a highlighter to them. So this is how it comes packaged. Really nice box and stuff like that. Well, the box is kind of tacky, but I mean, this packaging is really nice. A little it was much bigger than I really thought it would be um, comes with a blush brush which of course is very coarse and these things edge my teeth I don't know if it does that for you guys too but yeah um, and so this is what a blush looks like so you have all of this free space but you have a really nice gorgeous mirror so this is what it looks like. I will put the swatch on my Facebook page or on my blog so you guys can check below for that. Um, for the link to those places. And I plan to do this pretty soon so you guys can check it out. And also from La Femme I got this um, eyebrow pencil and taupe. I actually tried to fill in my brows. Um, I suck at brows. Miriam has... A video Miriam does makeup if you're not subscribed to hers yet where she shows you how three different techniques to do brows one is a pencil one is powder and the other one is like a gel or cream and stuff um I was looking I don't know I have always been trying to figure out how to do my brows so I actually got all three different things and this pencil had good ratings when I checked the femme site so I decided to just get it and I tried it so you guys let me know it's like one of the first first time in a couple months that I've actually filled it in and pretty with a pencil and be okay a lot of times pencils are really dark and so I tried to so say let me try taupe um, and see if it will work so you let me know also from La Femme is this um, creamy cake liner and this one is in black and it looks like this and you can try swatching it and it's not going to do anything you actually have to wet this with mixing medium to for it to work you could use fix plus I heard you could use water but there is a of um like little liquid that you could use but I have the one from Graftobian so I will try the Graftobian with this or fix plus or one of my setting sprays or my little concoction with glycerine and water you guys know about that one so yeah, or um, can uh, we call this thing eye drops? You could use that also. So yes, um, that's it. And lastly, for there's just one brand that I'm gonna show for another thing. This is Sinful Colors. I already um showed you guys this on my Facebook page, but this is a swatch of it on my nails. This is one coat. I've been wearing this for two days now. 
it's one coat there is no top coat on it just one coat it's a bit it's pretty opaque um I'm, i find that you're not really seeing through my nails so i'm really really happy with this i don't know if this is from the summer line this one is called song of summer definite recommend um yeah i don't know if all the others from the collection is opaque if they are i want to get them i love op any nail polish it could be a one coat nail polish that you're gonna be my best friend because i want one coat dry quickly out the door so that's it for those i have one other a set of stuff here that a friend of mine actually um told me uh about another person who was selling wet and wild and it's they don't have a store or anything like that it just um happened to be selling some stuff and i was really happy to get in it i did however did not reach to the sale early um because i was going with someone else and um yeah i ended up getting a couple things so yeah i actually was able to try and hook up some of my friends too but some of this stuff again was limited i haven't opened any of these things but they had stuff from the fuggy collection and they also had a fuggy eyelid primer but that was sold out and i already had that from my swap when i did with velma and her channel is just a touch of blush i'll link um that swap video for you guys to check out because i got some really gorgeous stuff um so this is the sense stage collection from fuggy and this is to reflect shimmer palette and a friend of mine also was trying to get it to me when she went on vacation in new york and by the time she went back to get it she was unable to get it um but these this was this is rose champagne glow this is the there's only three of them um i just got the two lighter ones this is the lightest one somebody was saying this is a Jupiter mac mineralized um something and the other one I got was Rose Golden Goddess, which is, I'm hoping that I can actually pull this off as like a blush and bronzer kind of thing. So yeah, I got just these two. The other one, I don't know if it was too dark. Um, and they, I think they just had like one or so of that remaining. And this one was a Fergie collection, apparently. The, I think the person had like all three or four, whatever, had for this collection when I reached... This one was the only one remained, and interestingly, this was the only one I would have really liked. This is, um, they call, well, the whole collection is called Santa Stage, and these are the photo of eyeshadows. This one is in Dessert Festival, which has a good, a gorgeous, um, matte orange, and then a shimmery one, and I think this one looks a lot like one of the colors that's always, you know, that brought, it's like, a dark brown with some red in it or something like that so that's it there i'll do swatches of all these some bits of my vlog um they had some like pencils none of the matte lipsticks were there they didn't have somebody 99 cents i call them 99 cents lipsticks um and they had some of those but the ones i they had i had like one or two and they really i really didn't want to pick up anymore um in terms of pricing this I think it was like 55 and these were 65 I don't I don't think they were really bad pricing at all and these polishes were $12 and I got these these are from this the color pop um color pop summer collection so this one is called listening to blue read listening to blue read gorgeous and I think all of these are matte so yeah they look all matte this one is the clock strikes orange it's a gorgeous orange and this one is called teal slowly and see so yeah i will do swatches for you guys or we'll talk about them when i have them in my videos who is ultraviolet is this gorgeous violet color Ooh, love that and this one is stand the test of lime i don't know if these are how opaque they are this one looks a bit thin and i think one of these are greedy thick yeah this one is kind of i don't know so yeah that's it so it's not really a great long long big haul but i'm really excited to try out these stuff reviews if you're interested in any of these items leave a comment below and i'll get it to you soon a couple of these things are in like the blushes and the lip products are in my um uh, weekly basket video i'll link that below for you guys to check out if you have not seen it as yet um so yeah thanks again for watching i know i'm like hauling and stuff but I'm actually finishing some products. I'm really happy with myself with it. But yeah, I like to try out new things. So yeah, go ahead and thumbs up this video for haul videos. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.